Okay, so developing tonight, it is no secret the Catholic Church has a history with sexual abuse within the church. We have covered allegations in the Santa Fe Archdiocese for years, up to a potential settlement for victims that was announced recently. But it turns out the Catholic Church is not the only faith organization handling these reports of sexual abuse. This week, Southern Baptist Church leaders released a, a once secret list of hundreds of alleged sexual abuse offenders connected to the church. Julie Friendak got her hands on that list today, looked things over. And Julie, we know there's more than one New Mexico connection on that list. We do, Tessa. We looked over the more than 200 page list of offenders and found three with New Mexico connections. All three either pleaded or were found guilty of sex crimes. A report released this week sheds light on the issue of sexual abuse within the Southern Baptist Church. The release came less than a week after a, quote, explosive report from a third-party company on its investigation into past abuses within the church. The Southern Baptist Convention posted a lengthy statement on its website about the release, saying this list is being made public for the first time as an initial but important step towards addressing the scourge of sexual abuse and implementing reform. Southern Baptist Convention President Ed Litton talked to NBC News this week. It's, it's extremely painful because of what has happened to people. Actual survivors and victims took an amazing amount of courage to come forward. And they were getting resistance. And we, we heard these things, but we really didn't know to what extent. We found three New Mexico connections in the more than 200 page list of accused abusers. A judge sentenced James Collin to seven years in prison after he admitted involvement with a teenage girl when he was a youth minister at Temple Baptist Church in Albuquerque. Paul Cunningham was a pastor at First Baptist Church in Los Alamos. He pleaded guilty to sexual exploitation of children and possession of obscene materials in 2016. He served one year in prison. Michael Latham is a former Baptist camp director at the Glorietta Conference Center. He pleaded guilty to a federal sex crime for sending obscene photos of himself online. So it's a difficult thing, and it's a difficult issue to face in a church or anywhere else. And so I, I understand that difficulty as a pastor. And uh, but we need we need to make changes, systemic changes in the SBC that make sure our churches are safe places for people and that uh, we deal rightly and justly with those who have been victimized. All of the alleged cases on this list span from 2000 to 2019 all across the country. Tessa. Mm -hmm.